Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. This episode is going to cover the phone that everyone and their dog is excited about, the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now for the purpose of our video, we're going to be focused on the North American model. That means it has a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Cortex A15, 2 gigs of RAM, as well as compatibility with LTE wireless technology. It also has a 1280 x 720, that is HD, AMO LED screen, which gives you a number of advantages including response time, contrast, power savings, as well as much better performance than an LCD screen in direct sunlight. It comes with a 2100 milliamp hour battery as well, and this is a cool innovation, a multicolored LED notification light, which means that you can tell exactly what's going on with your phone rather than it just having a light that's on before you even have to pick it up. Now Samsung's whole thing with this phone was organic design to deliver a more human, a more natural experience using it. Now you see this in the rounded shape of the phone, but Samsung has also made some interesting tweaks to go along with the improvements that are already being made in Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. One really cool feature is Smart Stay. It uses the front camera, facial recognition software to keep the phone from turning off while you're still using it. For example, if you're reading a website or an ebook and it's just sitting in front of you like this, your eyes are moving back and forth, you're reading something on the screen, Smart Stay, in spite of your settings, will keep it from turning off and interrupting you. It also comes with a ton of different unlock options, so you can do whatever's most natural for you. You can swipe, you can use facial, rec facial recognition, you can tilt it, you can do a pattern, or you can do a more traditional alphanumeric unlock. TouchWiz, Samsung's interface layer that runs on top of Ice Cream Sandwich, adds some interesting things. So pulling down from the top of the screen gives you easy access to most of your frequently used buttons, such as power saving mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and the like. Also, holding down the home key brings up a task manager that allows you to easily see everything you're doing, switch to a task that you want to switch to, as well as easily close down tasks simply by swiping them off to the side. A couple of other awesome TouchWiz innovations are the ability to launch the camera simply by holding down and rotating the phone and it launches right away, as well as the ability to easily manage your folders from within the file manager. You can actually create, move, and copy files, which is unique to Samsung at this time. Desktop management is also a thing of beauty. You can create a folder very quickly, manage the icons, move them around, just like this, and if you decide you don't like it anymore, all you do is drag it to the bottom and you will delete that folder, no problem. It also has the ability with all of the multiple desktops you can run, including things like resizable widgets, to assign a static home page. So which one do you want it to go to every time when you press the home button? That way you'll always be looking at the things you use most often whenever you use the home button. Now while we showed you a cool way to launch the camera, we haven't actually talked about some of the things that make the camera on this phone truly special, and they're in the software. It's got some cool new shooting modes, including a burst mode, which allows you to hold down the shutter and take 20 pictures in rapid succession. It also has a sweet mode under burst photo called best photo. This one, you press the shutter button once and the camera will automatically process the images and detect which one is the best for you. The camera also has no shutter lag, that is no delay when you press the button and it has a cool feature called Buddy Photo Share that automatically detects the faces of people you know and gives you a quick and easy way to email the photo to them while you're looking at it. Now the S3 allows you to enjoy your media in some pretty unique ways, we'll show you in a moment, but it also allows you to share your media in a ton of unique ways. One of the cool things is S-Beam, in which case you just take two Galaxy S3s, put them back to back, as long as you have S-Beam enabled, it will transfer at up to five megabytes per second using Wi-Fi between the two phones as long as they remain within range of each other. It doesn't even knock out your existing Wi-Fi connection. You've also got about other, a couple of other really cool things, including GroupCast, which allows you to show a slideshow to anyone else who is connected to you and validated according to your phone and the setup procedure, as well as All Share Play, which is the next generation of Samsung Samsung's all share technology, which is compatible with other Samsung devices, including things like their TVs. Now, this media feature is incredibly cool. We're going to go into the gallery, we're going to play back a file right here, and I'm going to show you the most awesome thing I've ever seen. It's playing back, all we have to do is change it 
to a small little uh, windowed mode and we can actually continue to operate the phone seamlessly in the background. We can move this out of our way, launch Angry Birds, and the video will actually run over top of the game until I decide to either close it or re-enable the video in full screen, which is very, very cool. Now, besides being far and away the fastest, smoothest mobile device I've ever used, there's still a few more things I want to highlight. One of them is the easily resizable apps. You just hold down on an app, such as Flipboard right here, resize it, and bam, you change the size of your widget. Sorry, I called it an app, it's a widget. Also, with your live wallpapers, you can put all kinds of really cool stuff in the background, including things like your RSS feeds or your stock quotes. S Voice also allows you to interact with the phone in a more naturally speaking manner than what you're probably accustomed to in the past. And it should be noted that the S3 features tons of motion control that fits in line with Samsung's more natural use model for the phone itself. So check this out. Okay, hold on, this isn't motion yet, but from within contacts, you swipe to the right for a phone call. You swipe to the left for a quick text message, which is very, very cool. But wait, there's more. When you're looking at a contact or you're looking at a text message from a contact, all you have to do is be looking at it, bring the phone up to your face, and bam, it calls that contact without you even having to press anything, which is very, very cool. And from within the settings menu, you can actually set up all kinds of different motion control stuff. So one thing I do want to do with you guys is have you let me know which one you think is better. There's a white version and a blue version. They both got Gorilla Glass. They've both got beautiful large screens, a nice rounded shape, all of that good stuff. But for those of you who prefer white, I'd like you to vote the video up. For those of you who prefer blue, I'd like you to vote the video down and let me know what you think, because I'm curious. Personally, I'm a white phone guy, but let's see what the uh, prevailing general opinion is. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.